Hello there, welcome back to the video. In this video, we are going to see how we can show the negative values which are there in this total profit column in red and the positive values in green. So here I have just added a simple table here wherein I am displaying the product subcategory and the total profit generated by the product subcategory. And my requirement is that I want to display the numbers or highlight the numbers in red which are showing as negative. And we can also highlight the numbers in green which are showing as positive. So for this, what you have to do is, you have to just click on the table and you have to go to the measure or the column which you have added over here, total profit. And when you will click on this down arrow, it will show you these many options. And from here, you have the option of conditional formatting. So in conditional formatting, you have different options. You have options of background color, font color, data bars, icons and web URL. So here what we will be using is we will be going we will be going with font color. So if the value will be negative, the font color of this text which is currently black will directly change to red. So for that what we will have to do is first of all we will have to make a measure. So let's create a measure for that. I will click on these three dots and click on new measure. I will name the measure as color condition and here I will tell if the total profit is less than zero then I want right if Total profit is more than equal to zero. I will only take greater than zero. Then it should be green. So this is our simple measure which we have created. In place of using red and green, you can also give the hex code of the color which you want. So you can also do that. So I am just using the text red and green over here. Now I will just click on enter. And this measure is ready now. Now what we'll do is we'll go over here. Click on this down arrow button. Go to conditional formatting. And then we'll go to font color. Now in format style you have different options like gradient, rules and field value. So as we have created a measure. So we'll select field value over here. And we will select the measure which we have created. I will just search the measure. Color condition. And hit on OK. So now you can see. That all the negative values have been changed to red color. And the positive values has been changed to green color. So this was a very simple method using, using which you can change the color of the text based on the values. And you can also use other options like you can also change the background. So we can also see that. Let's go over here. And remove the condition formatting from on color. So now the condition formatting has been removed. And now we'll apply that to the background. I will go over here. I will choose background color. And again I will go over here. I will click on field value. And here again I will select the measure which we have created color condition uh, click on ok so you can see the background now has changed so as it is not visible properly what we can do is we can change the column to change the column text color we can change it to white and we can also So this is how we can apply both the conditional formatting for text color as well as for the background color. So I hope you have learned something new for, from this video. If you really like this video, do subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thank you very much for watching the video.